everyone, my name is Ken Fickler. I'm the founder and CEO of Gaze, and today we're gonna to be talking about how long you can test positive for marijuana on a drug test. Now, I'm gonna do a longer recording for those who are interested in a lot more detail, but this video is gonna be very short, and the answer to the question is it depends. It depends on the test that's being used and your frequency of use and other factors like your metabolism. So I'm gonna run through each of the testing types that's common for looking at how much THC or THC metabolites are in your body. We'll talk a little bit about each of them and how long you'll test positive for, uh, for a THC on each of these tests. So for your analysis test, which is by far the most common testing type, you're gonna be uh, positive for, for THC metabolites, this is a metabolite-based test, for about four to six weeks, depending on your frequency of use. Now I'm going to put an asterisk at the end of that because we have certainly seen and heard about reports of people who are positive for up to four months after they last used THC on a urinalysis test. Um, so there's a couple factors here to consider, including the cutoff level that your employer uses, um, what your frequency of use is, and uh, whether or not um, you're using any products designed to remove the THC from your system. Uh, blood tests. Now these are typically performed by law enforcement. Um, they are uh, considered an evidential test and they look for um, either active THC or THC metabolites in your blood. And so those will be performed at a hospital by a phlebotomist um, and you'll typically be positive for THC up to about seven days um, since you last used uh, cannabis. You can occasionally be positive for up to about four weeks on those tests. And so it really depends on, again, the cutoff levels, your metabolism, um, how much you used to use before you stopped, um, factors like that. And of course, uh, the products that are designed to get THC out of your urine are not necessarily gonna be effective for blood. So um, don't expect that. Saliva and oral fluid tests. So these are looking for active THC in your saliva. Um, you're commonly gonna be positive for THC in your saliva for about 48 hours since you last used cannabis, um, though there is one study that showed that you can be positive for up to eight days since the last time you used cannabis. And so the idea that these are recent use tests is absolutely false and is something that we end up dealing with all the time, um, correcting that misinformation that's out there. So you're certainly not going to um, you shouldn't expect to pass a, an oral fluid or saliva THC test uh, if you got high last night and you're going to work um, the next morning. A breath test. Now these are just emerging onto the market. Um, as of the time I'm recording this, there's only one on the market and they claim you can detect uh, active THC, not metabolites, for about three to five hours since you um, used. And, and the idea here is that this is a much more recent use test and can more likely predict whether or not you could be still showing signs of impairment. Um, there's been many studies that have looked at breath and THC and found that that is not necessarily the case. Um, so you don't necessarily want to uh, assume that you're gonna be uh, clean on a breath test if you you know used cannabis last night you're going to work in the morning um, you may be that's the idea behind those tests but not necessarily um, and, and so employers need to understand that too that these are tests that um, have been shown to uh, either be ineffective at detecting active THC after recent use or can detect recent use for much longer than is being claimed by the manufacturers uh, next up is a hair follicle test. So these tests are looking at uh, whether or not there are THC metabolites in your hair. And you'll typically be positive for that for about three to four months since you last used uh, cannabis. Um, fingernails are also occasionally used in the same sort of way. Uh, that's much less common and there's, there's rapid hair tests now. So I think the fingernail tests are, are pretty much going away, but um, it's, it's not all the way there. And last step, we have impairment detection technology. So these are tests that are designed to only be sensitive to active impairment. And um, that could be from cannabis, it can also be from other drugs or um, other factors. So GAZE is one example of impairment detection technology. We use a series of eye tests that are designed to elicit certain signs and symptoms of impairment that manifest in the eyes uh, involuntarily. So these are not tests that can be beaten. Um, we will detect it if you're experiencing impairment. Um, our tests take about six minutes to run, and again, they're only sensitive to active impairment and not to prior use. So 
If you are not impaired at the time of the test, you'll be able to pass the test. If you are uh, impaired during the time of the test, we'll find those signs of impairment that manifest in the eyes and, uh, and report those. So we designed these tests to be the most fair way that a cannabis user can have to um, demonstrate that they're fit for duty at their job. And for employers, employers commonly today are caring about whether or not their employees are high on the job, not whether or not they smoked some weed last night. And so for those of you who are out there uh, watching this video, you may want to encourage your employer to look at adopting impairment detection technology like Gaze, or there's, there's a few other providers as well. Um, we think we're the best, but we'll let you decide that. Definitely take a look at that. It's a great uh, tool and, and a way to detect impairment as it's being experienced rather than simply prior use. Uh, check out the follow-up video to this if you'd like a longer answer and more detail, but we'll leave it there for today, and thanks so much.